Free throw shooting. Let's start with free throw shooting. As we all know, free throw shooting seems to be easy because of the word free, but it's not. It's probably one of the most difficult shots that you can make on the basketball court, mainly because there's no defense. So when there's no defense, the focus begins with yourself. You have to somehow find a way to get yourself comfortable, understand the fundamentals of the shot, and then step to the free throw line and make the shot. Now, there's a lot of other factors that plays into free throw shooting. You have your mind basically fighting itself to, to go through the fundamentals. Then you have the fans and the expectations of making the free throw shot. So the things and the simple things that you should think about when you get to the free throw line is to be comfortable. Now, we're going to go over the fundamentals of what it takes to shoot a free throw, and it's very basic. And when, when we talk about basic, we talk about the things that can be carried from the free throw shot to any shot on the basketball court. It's only focused when you're at the free throw shot because it is a free shot and everybody's just focusing on you. That's probably why it makes it more difficult to make the free throw shot. So when I step to the free throw line, some of the things that I think about is the fundamentals of the shot, but at the same time, to get myself relaxed and go through the rhythms and the things that I've been practicing away from the game situation. And that's why when you're practicing your free throw, you should always have the mental thought of a game so that when the time comes within the game, you relax and everything comes to you very easily. A lot of inhibitors are out there from the fans to the mascots waving their hands or to the other players talking to you while you're trying to focus on the shot. But as a free throw shooter, you got to be able to focus on the job itself, which is to make the free throw shot. So my first thing is try to get my, my base set. And I try to get shoulder width apart with my legs or with my feet. Nine times out of ten, my right foot's going to be ahead of my left, mainly because that's a certain comfort level. A lot of times, players come in, they try to be parallel, or if they're left-handed, they try to put their left foot forward, which is all fine and good. But the most important thing is try to get a balance. So once I get my balance, everything starts from that point forward. I go through my ritual, which is I spin the ball, I dribble three times, and I spin it again. Then I feel like I'm comfortable and I'm ready to go through with the shot. So as I go through my ritual, I spin it, spin it again, now I'm starting to focus on my target. There's three focal points that people try to teach. When you're following through with the shot, you're either reaching for the rim, reach your hand inside the rim, or reaching to the back of the rim. Now when you think about shooting, the first thing you want to think about is getting the ball on your fingertips. Fingertips meaning you got space between the ball and your palm of your hands. The reason that you don't have it on your palm, because once the ball gets on your palm, you cannot control the basketball. When it's on your fingertips, you have better control of the basketball. Now, if you're a right-handed shooter, your left hand is primarily going to be used as a guide. Now, if you feel like your left hand is shooting the basketball, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a two-handed shooter. And I don't know how accurate you can be with a two-handed shot. So once I go back to my balance, getting my feet set, going through my ritual, now I got my target, I got my fingertips, I got my L shape pointing towards the target. It's a little bit off the right of my ear or my face or my eye. I see the target and now I continue on with the shot. When I'm continuing on with the shot, I'm taking all my motion from my feet all the way through to my fingertips going straight at the shot or straight at the target. So let's try one. Go through my ritual, I got my balance, I see my target, and I follow through. Now, in following through, a lot of times, these are the three fingers that you're going to shoot the basketball with. If these other two fingers come into play, you're shooting with a different rotation than what's, what's taught. What's taught is to try to have this correct backspin, where the ball is going head over heel or, or spinning back towards you. If it's going this way or this spin, you're using these fingers a lot more than you probably should. And that makes a difference when you're up there at the rim and the ball starts to bouncing around. If you have the correct backspin, your shot may bounce around and go into the basketball hole. Go through my balance, my ritual, starts in my legs, and going towards the target. And always trying to finish on your finger, on your toes. Finishing on your toes because you're carrying every little energy towards that target, and that's important. It's hard to shoot if you're going to be falling back, falling this way, or falling this way. So you want to take all your energy towards that target with your focus. Now, another thing, another thought process is you always want to maintain a certain focus with the rim, understanding what are you going to do, where you're shooting it, and with 
all the confidence in the world. Now, if you don't have the confidence that you can make a free throw, when you're shooting free throws, if you got negative thoughts, negative things happen. If you got positive thoughts, positive things happen. If you practice your free throws as often as you probably should in practice, so when it comes to the game, you have a certain confidence and a certain comfort, you're going to make your free throw shot. Believe me, shooting free throws demands a lot of work, mainly because it's not free. <laughs> Anything that's free is always hard. Haven't your parents ever told you that if it comes free, that means you're not putting forth the effort? You want to put forth the effort so that if it does come free, you're putting, you've worked hard enough to where the responses are going to be something that you feel very comfortable with. 